This is Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. Uh, the last project we did, we drew this box. We extruded the box into a three-dimensional object. Now what I want to do is add a slot to the end. So this is the second step we're going to sketch. I'm going to create a sketch, and now we're going to select which face we want to work on. If I want to draw on this face, or this face, or this face. I'm going to draw on this face right here. Click that face. Now, middle mouse button down to slide it over so I can see it. Now, if you don't have these black lines, you simply come down here and change the visual style. Right now, you might it might look like that. It's hard to see, so you click on the display settings and change it to hidden with edges, or you can change it to uh, personally, like uh, with visible edges only, so it's less ambiguous. Then what you do is you're going to, using the line tool, you're going to scroll in here if you want, and you can see it automatically grabs that edge. It grabs, it assumes whatever edge you want to draw on. Uh, I'm going to draw on this edge right here, so that's going to start from there. And you walk over to over here, and you notice it's 180 degrees. And I'm not going to worry about the sizes right now. I am going to worry about the angle, though. You have to make sure it stays at 180. And come down here. Again, I'm not going to worry about the distance. I'm only going to worry about that. Yes, it's 90 degrees. And coming across this way, you scroll in. It's really easy to go a slight angle. Now, you can go up if you can play around with it and get it so it's perfect and then click it, that'll work fine. But if you want, you can just hit the tab and it'll come up to 90. And if it's not at 90, just type in 90 and then hit enter. And it'll make it exactly 90 degrees. Then what you want to do is you want to come here and grab the line tool again and close this in come down to here and down to there. Now that one's not 90 degrees, but it's not really going to matter at this moment in time. So now we're going to make some sizes. Scroll out a bit. Scroll down so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to click here and I'm going to click here. And I change that size to 15 millimeters depth. And the 90 is good. Um, I'm actually going to come over here and I'm going to click this one and this one. And I'm going to make it 15 as well. You can see it's 15.2 or something because I wasn't quite right on the angle. 15 is good. Now I want it 15 from the edge, from here to here. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to click this. I'm going to go here. I'm going to make that 15. That centers it. Now let's go back. I decided against this. I want to change this to 10. So I just double click on the dimension, change that to 10, and of course you have to come down. Because these two are, aren't constrained. I could have easily went here and went equal lengths and went like that and like that and made them equal lengths. It's a bad example, but I could have done that. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to double click this guy here, change him to 10, like so. Then I'm going to come up and I'm going to select that, bring it into the position, stop the sketch. I'm done the sketching now. I'm going to scroll in and highlight it. And right click. You can do modify uh, and press pull here, or you can just click it, right click it, press pull. Now, there's a couple of different options here. If you look over here, you'll see um, uh, new body, here, direction, which way you want to go, distance, and so on. Uh, I'm going to bring it down. And mo the most important thing, if I bring it up here like this, one like that, you see how it says join? This would become part of this piece that we're making would become part of this. If I clicked OK. Uh, if I went new body, it would become separate from that piece. So say I wanted a separate piece, so I could move it around easy later. Uh, or it could be a component that you don't want to actually attach to right? uh, Or you can use it to cut, intersect as well. Now it says error because it says, hey, there's nothing here to cut, but we're saying, yes, there is. We're just going to come down. So we're going to scroll around, shift button, middle mouse button, scroll around to make it a little smaller so I can see what's going on. Bring it up. I can bring this all the way down through to the bottom, and you can see it's cutting through. That sets the depth how deep. So I go into here. I'm going to go all the way through. I click OK. And now you can see, holding the shift button down, you can see I have, in fact, done this lot. OK, so the next project or I should say the next uh, challenge, I want the student to do this exact same thing at this end. There's a different couple of different ways you can do it. You can draw it, you can, there's, I'll let you figure that out, but using some tools up here, look through these things and see what are possible, what are some possibilities to maybe easily do one over there. Simply go through the same process I just did now. Either way, the same result. So draw the second side. When you have the second side drawn, then you come and see me and we will do the third process.